guys, so today's video is going to be a review on a Morphe palette, but before I get into that, I just want to give you guys a little update. I've been extremely busy this past April and May with like a bunch of like random stuff, like yard stuff. I had to put up a new fence for my dog. I've just been busy with a lot of stuff, like helping my mom with stuff that she can't do. So I really haven't had time to like sit down and make videos, so today I should be back hopefully steady like three times a week again if not i don't know what i'm gonna do because i'm like lose i'm getting mad that i can't make videos and it's really making me sad so yeah i'm going to just get started on the, the review of this morphe palette that's been out for forever but i did do a review on it i'm i did do one no i didn't i'm doing one right now but i just wanted to say that i already did an eye look with this and it's already on my eyes right now. So if you like that, then you'll probably like the shadows that are in here. So here is the 39S Such a Gem Artistry Palette from Morphe. And this has been out for a long time. It's nothing new. It's just been out for a while. And here's what the inside looks like. It's beautiful. Love this. The only downfall is it doesn't have a mirror. I feel like for $35 it should, because that's kind of a lot of money for a palette. Um, and then here's the little um, little sheet of names. I wish that the eyeshadow had the names underneath the shadows. They have plenty of room on here. I don't know why they're not on there. But that bothers me because then I don't. like. I have to like, keep this and this is annoying. So I'm going to try and do my swatches and hopefully this isn't backwards and I think this is backwards hold on um crap it to go like this so like this I know yeah that goes like this so so I'm gonna put this like that that way I can see so I'm just going to start by swatching these and if I can zoom you guys in and show you the eye look I already did. Let me see if I can zoom it in all the way. So here's the look I did and I will show you the colors I used as well. There's only one thing on here that I did not use and I used a glitter topper from something else that wasn't in this palette. So the first one is called, so the first row is called Megan Bank Posh Boss Bougie Dazzlem Perfection Super Swanky Flaunt and Plums. That's the first row. So the first one is a shimmer, and this one is called like I just read. This one is called Megan Bank, and it looks like a plummy color kind of. And I'm just gonna swatch these on my hand right here here's the first one hope you guys can see it next to that is this pretty matte plum shade it looks definitely like a plummy color like a purpley color and that one's called posh boss the next one is called bougie this is a very matte bright pink these are very pigmented and very smooth the next one is called Dazzlem. This is a shimmer. It's a shimmer, but it's not really coming on my finger very right well. This is called Dazzlem. Yeah, this is not a good color at all. It's not even showing up. Hmm. That's not a good color at all. That's Dazzlem. You can barely see it. It's a very sheer color. I don't know if there's something wrong with that. But the next one is called Pearlfection. This one's a very nice color. That's Pearlfection. The next one is called Super Swanky, which is a matte brown shade. It's like a taupey shade right here. The next one is called Flaunt It, and this looks like a shimmery like red color. Actually, no, it looks like a shimmer metallic pink. Definitely a very like bright pink. The next one is, what is it? Plums Up. This looks like a plum color, actually. 
another matte dark purple. Ooh, that's really, uh, it's really dark. It's called Plums Up. Now that's the first row. I'm just going to take this, these off with my makeup wipe. And I'll show you the colors I used on my eyes at the end. I'm probably not going to swatch all these because it's going to make a mess. But, yeah. I would recommend this palette. I've used it a few times and I will say it is worth $35. It's affordable to me anyway. Some people I know might not be able to afford that, but that's okay. There's other ones out there like this. The next row is Marvelous. Pink Prize, I cannot read these because they're so clear. Amethyst, Treasure Trove, Ritzy, Rose, Decadent AF, very good, that's tempting. So, the first one is a shimmer, which I actually used on the top of my eye to mix my colors together. This is a very sparkly pink. Next one is that baby pink, very soft baby pink that I used. I used this shade right here. That's called Pink Prize. What else? Next to that one is this shimmery dark purple. That one's called Amethyst Ah. Uh. The next one is Treasure Cove, which looks like a grayish metallic color. Yep, definitely a gray metallic. The next one is, looks like another metallic. That one's called Ritzy Rose, so this is like a rosy color. The next one is a matte shade. This is a dark brown. That one's called Decadent AF. The dark brown right here. Just gonna take those off. There's two more colors in the second row. If you guys want a tutorial on this eye look, let me know and I can do that. The next one is very good, so it's like a berry color, a matte berry color, right here. The next one is, that's tempting, it looks like a dark, I don't know, definitely a, kind of an ugly color. That's tempting, I guess that one's called. Yep, now for the next row, I'm going to get a new white. I love the next row. They're all shimmers and they're bigger, the bigger pans. I haven't used them, these colors. I've used all the other ones, but not those. And I love how shimmer, shimmery they are. I hate how oily these are. I'm going to grab a towel because I need to dry my hand off. Towel right here. It's so oily, the wipes. Okay. So the middle ones are called Taking the Crown, Oh Yes, Total Goals, Catch the Light, Bling Thing, Here For It, and Strike a Pose. First one is a silver, very, very pretty silver. The next one is a shimmery, like, baby pink, so pretty. Next one looks like a shimmery purple. It's a shimmery purple. I feel like you guys can't see, so I'm gonna zoom you in even more. Those are the colors I just swatched. The middle looks like a golden um, color. It is, it's like a gold. Now the next one in the middle is, looks like a rose gold shimmer. Yep. Another one is another pink. Ooh, so pretty. That one. Last 
last but not least on the middle row is this dark shimmer shade. Now there's two more rows. I'm not going to do all those colors on those rows because they're all the same pigmentation. But that is it for all the swatches. I think I'm going to swatch the pressed glitter that's in here because there's only one pressed glitter that's in here. And I love pressed glitters. So yeah, I'm going to swatch those. So the pressed glitter is called show off very very pretty press glitter right there and my battery's about to die so i'll be right back okay i'm sorry i had to switch my camera battery and this battery as well what the heck so i'm gonna make this end of this quick i did swatch all the colors i felt like swatching and overall, this is a great palette. I highly recommend it. The only downfall is there's no mirror. There's no shadow names underneath the shadows, which drives me up a wall. But I would still buy it again. I just hope they decide to fix it a little bit. And I'm going to read to you what it says on their website. I don't know if this palette is still sold at Ulta or not, but I know it's sold at Morphe. So, let me see what it says. It says, live lavishly. Introducing new silk toppers, sassy pink, stunning purples, rich vibrant hues, and a touch of glitter, of course. This multi-faced faced mix is, is your new between bejeweled bestie. Use the matte sheen and shimmer finishes to luxe up your face and eye looks, and then smooth on your brand new silk slip toppers very freshly highlight or next level eye look each one of these seven plush formulas has been si sized up for an effect that really is extra you'll love how these velvety babes glide on like gel and set like a powder and you'll be looking gorgeous you know you like you know like you do so i was actually thinking to myself that the middle shades could pass as highlighters because they're kind of sheer and I think I was right because all of those are super shimmery. So you could probably get away with using the middle row as a highlighter. I know I think I would. I absolutely love this. Like look how big and pretty it is. It's so nice for the price. And $35 isn't horrible. It has a nice selection of colors. So I will read the row one, the shade names again, that way you guys know. Make and Bank is a shimmering lilac. Posh Bosh is a matte heather gray, grayage, I don't know what that says. Bougie matte tropical hibiscus. Dazzlem sheer pewter shimmer, so I was right, it was like a um, gray. Perlfection, a mother of pearl satin, super swanky matte latte, flaunt ripe raspberry satin, plums up matte plummy mirror lot, row two, marvelous shimmery cherry macaroon, pink prize matte bubblegum, amethyst, uh, vibrant amethyst satin, treasure trove, trove, I think that says. I, my eyes are killing me right now and it's really hard for me to see because my allergies are, and I keep, like my vision keeps going blurry. I also should be wearing glasses just to let you guys know, but I don't like them so I don't wear them. So the next one is Ritzy Rose Shimmering Strawberry. Decadent AF is a matte chocolate caramel. Berry Good is a matte hot pink carnation. That's Tempting is matte mahogany rust. Row 3. New formula. What? Row they have new formulas? In row three? I didn't even swatch those. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, yeah you did. Row three. I did swatch those. Those were the big ones. Take the crown. I did swatch those. Polished Chrome Silk Slip Topper. Oh yes, Cotton Candy Silk Slip Topper. Total Gold Sh Frosted Berry Silk Slip Topper. So these are like toppers for eyeshadow. Catch the Light White Gold Silk Topper. Bling Thing Rose Gold Silk Slip Topper. 
Here for holographic peony silk slip topper. Strike a pose raspberry gem silk slip topper. Row four. Lavender sheer icy lavender shimmer. Purple majesty matte blooming orchid. It's violet sheer summer violet shimmer. Make it rain. Matte royal indigo. You fancy shimmering autumn blaze. Fame game matte black walnut. Extra um, shimmering amber. Why not matte mulberry wine row five periwinkle shimmering icy periwinkle loaded lilac shimmering blushy lilac grape mines matte brilliant my camera's gonna die again oh my god i will be right back okay i'm back for the third time this battery better last oh i guess i forgot to charge my batteries so where the heck did i leave off of naming the shades I think I left off at Shiny Object Shimmering Steel. Pure Lux is Shimmering Peach Show Off as a Bronze Flame Glitter. Garnet Glam Shimmering Inky Garnet. And Roxon is a Matte Audison with Silver. It says it's a 32 rich vibrant shade, 7 super sized silk slip toppers, a mix of finishes form. From sheer to glitter, finishing off. From posh max to radiant shimmers, this palette's got a stunning array of beyond creamy shade finishes. I'll give you all the feels. So yeah, that's what it says. And I love this palette. It is really pretty. And I forgot. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to show you the colors I used. So I used, let's see here i used marvelous pink prize purple majesty and great minds so i will show you those colors i will swatch them again i used marvelous which is right here i'm just gonna zoom you guys in really quick so i can show you so here's marvelous this is a sparkly pink shade right here and I just used that on the top of my eye, mixed it in. Then I used Pink Prize, which is just a matte baby pink in the inner corners of my eyes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is what it looks like right here. Then I used, what was this one? A purple Majesty, which is a matte dark purple on the outer corner of my eyes. Obviously, they're blended. And then on my lid, I used this dark purple called Grape Mine. So this is like a grape purple, very dark purple. And I used that on my eyelids. And then I took a pressed glitter topper, and I will show you really quick what that is. It's the LA Girl Frenzy Holic Glitter. And I will be doing a review on those in the next video. So the video after this should be that. So be on the lookout for that, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.